The world of a NASCAR driver is a busy one, from training and fitness, promotional appearances and testing, to competing on the track 38 weekends a year. It takes a big commitment to be a successful racer. And as the saying goes, behind every good man is a good woman. So it is with a driver. As you can imagine, watching the one you love compete in a high-speed, highly competitive sport can be a little stressful. It's still just like anything else. It's, it's a job. With that also comes the hard stuff. These guys are so competitive and they wouldn't excel at what they did if they weren't so hard on themselves. He worked very hard to get here. So when you have a bad race. All right, David, talk to me. You gotta get out of fire, David. It's very, very stressful. It's hard to watch your husband struggle. I mean, this is a dog-eat-dog -dog environment, and it's all about what you're doing today, not what you did yesterday. I mean, even last week. That's part of life is death, and you have to understand the risks that he takes. Anybody that goes 200 miles an hour in a race car is obviously not afraid of the risks. It's not easy to kiss them goodbye, knowing where they're going and what they're doing. I'm terrified of those super speedway races. And, you know, with Carl's crash, oh. No, no. Oh, and that no. destroyed the front end of Newman's car. Brian was in that wreck, and my phone was ringing. I was a little frantic because I couldn't find him. I mean, I think all 43 of us women out here, whether we're wives, girlfriends, friends, whatever, and mothers, for that matter, I mean, that's, that's a sickening feeling. It's scary. I know that there's a possibility he may not come back on a Sunday, but I'm not going to let that dominate what, what I think, because that would completely just eat me up inside. This is his chosen profession. This is his dream. And so I just am here to support that. You know, risk, absolutely. Everybody knows there's risk. Reward, you bet. There, there's a lot of rewarding things. Anyone who has won knows that it is the most incredible feeling. It's hard to describe. It's what makes it all worthwhile, because it's so hard to get there. Just when you love someone and they're succeeding, you know what they feel, and you want that for them. I want him to succeed, and we're a team, so when he wins, I win. It's just like this high that you can't come off of. It's pretty amazing, and you, you never leave victory lane without taking that one last deep breath and kind of taking it all in, because you don't know when it's going to come back. Just, just so proud. This is what he loves to do. And he did it way before he met me, and he's going to do it for as long as he can do it. I'm a lucky person to be with the man I love, to be doing things that we love together. It's amazing. And that lady right there is Chrissy Newman, married to Ryan Newman, whom I'm joined by right now. Well, we just heard from the wives and what it's like for them to kiss you guys goodbye. What is it like for you strapping in a race car, especially at a place like Talladega? Well, it's it's definitely the most, uh, I'd say, you know, emotional and potentially emotional racetrack that we go to. And uh, it's nice to have my wife there to do uh, to wish me luck and kiss me and not goodbye, but just to wish me luck. And uh, it's, um, you know, it's, it's special to have uh, loved ones around you. And NASCAR is a great family sport, and I'm just glad that she's there with me. Let's talk about the last two weeks. You've gained three positions in the points. With momentum on your side, you come to Talladega. How do you view it? Is it an opportunity or a nuisance? It could be either. You just never know. It's a place that uh, it's the biggest wild card of, of our entire racing season is two races at Talladega, in my opinion. And uh, our U.S. Army Chevrolet was, was pretty good in practice. We actually cut second practice short just to, you know, say the race car basically we didn't know what was going to happen and uh, it's going to be an interesting race today with the rules and the way the you know the bump drafts and the stuff's going to work we'll see uh, if we can be in the in the right position at the right time well his last time here was his best finish here he finished third dave